Caracas, Venezuela of all the compromises he has had to make during Venezuela's economic crisis, none may be as great for Carlos Sandoval as the books. A self-described bibliophile, my life is literature, he said, Mr. Sandoval is one of Venezuela's foremost literary critics and a professor at two of the country's finest universities. Yet, Mr. Sandoval can no longer afford to buy books. It's the worst sacrifice, he lamented. Venezuela's deepening economic crisis has spared few across the population of more than 30 million. The nation is on the verge of, and by some measures already in, an extraordinary period of hyperinflation, with the inflation rate above 800% through October. Next year, consumer prices are forecast by the International Monetary Fund to soar more than 2,300%. This is an economy in which even the hourly rate in a parking lot recently ticked upward in the two hours it took a shopper to run some errands. Venezuelans of all socio-economic classes have been buffeted by sharply rising costs amid desperate scarcities of food and medicine, the collapse of public services and the medical system, and rampant crime. Their purchasing power has plummeted as wage increases have lagged far behind prices. But affording purchases is only one major challenge. Another is figuring out how to actually pay for them. The Venezuelan currency, the Bolivar, is in short supply, and finding a fistful of them has become one of the nightmares of daily life. People are compelled to endure long lines at cash machines to withdraw maximum amounts equivalent to about 10 cents, just enough to pay for several round trips on a public bus. The economic turmoil has put families, poor and affluent alike at the intersection of some very tough choices, bred a stressful uncertainty about the course of any given day and turned the most basic tasks into feats of endurance. Something so simple as taking money out of a bank machine or buying a coffee or taking a taxi has become a race for survival, Mr. Sandoval said. Some in Venezuela have started equating the nation's travails to a country during wartime. But the deterioration has in some ways been less dramatic and more insidious. At first glance the severity of the situation might not be immediately obvious to a newcomer. Viewed from a certain remove, Caracas may seem like any other capital in the developing world, streets crowded with traffic, people hustling to work, shops open and doing business. But on closer inspection, those impressions quickly fall away to reveal a society falling apart, and people struggling to hold their lives together and make it through the day. The administration of President Nicolas Maduro stopped publishing inflation data long ago. But the opposition-controlled National Assembly, whose economic data is generally in line with those of private economists, said that the inflation rate hit 45.5% in October, up from 36.3% the month before, putting Venezuela on the statistical doorstep of hyperinflation, commonly regarded as 50% per month or higher. But hyperinflationary conditions have already existed, economists say, particularly as prices on some key goods and services have risen by more than 50% month over month, putting them out of reach of an increasing number of people.